winter is the perfect time of year to be pruning back some of the larger trees on your property. So to give us some advice, we're joined by landscape designer James Walken. Sean Jones, welcome back to the cafe. Why is now the perfect time to prune those trees? Well, at this time of the year, sun's so important. Um, as the sun's lower in the sky, uh, it's, you're getting more shade but when you really need the warmth in, in your rooms. So now's a good time to look at those trees which are big on your section, which might be shading you out or your neighbours and, and see what can we do to make them, you know, uh, lighten them up and, and give us a bit more uh, brightness in our rooms and that sort of thing. Yeah, I have to say our neighbour gets a little annoyed with us at times because we're a bit lazy with ours. Um, but I know you did pruning in the weekend, so how did you decide what to cut? Well, um, I have uh, one of these electric mini chainsaws, which are awesome. They're so fun to use. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we call it the alligator. <laughs> the alligator. Yeah. Um, and uh, what I did is I went and checked. I got. I was working with uh, someone else. There it is. There. I yeah. love it. Yeah, they're awesome fun. <laughs> but basically, you shake out the branches and see which ones are blocking the light and which ones are heavy. And what the idea is, is if we can cut out the, the ones in the centre that, that are blocking a lot of the light, then we can uh, lighten up the tree, let more light down, um, which means you get more growth in the centre of the tree. Right. Uh, so you don't end up with just all branches looking through to your neighbour's property or their bathroom, you know. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> James. Yeah, so <laughs> it depends on what you want. It's only in the movies. Um, whereabouts on the branch do you cut then? Is it low, high? Where, where is that? Well, you basically want to go at the T of the, of the branch and um, cutting close to that is, is good because the tree is able to heal over the patch. Um, cutting on an angle is really important to make sure that the water is not sitting on it and, the, and you don't want it to start rot or um, the branches to uh, you know, get all infested. So uh, cutting on an angle keeps it um, nice and healthy. Brilliant. Um, and fruit trees, you need advice there? Yeah, well, cutting your fruit trees at the moment is a great uh, thing to be thinking about. The uh, deciduous trees are dormant. Um, and the last thing you want with fruit trees is uh, all the fruit to be in the top of the canopy yep. and for you not to be able to reach it. So taking out some of those branches to let the light down through it, to let the um, you know, fruit ripen in the centre of the tree, that's, that's a great thing to be thinking about. Well, I'm going to tell you what, James, if I have uh, lemon trees growing on my property, I'm going to make sure the fruit's at the top so people can't come off the street and steal it. <laughs> that's a great idea. <laughs> um, well, thanks so much for coming in, James. And if you want to see more of James's garden designs, go to Xanthi White Design website.